you wonderful people. So I'm Elizabeth and this is normally what it is like inside my head. I would always and still do get lots of crazy ideas in my head and I couldn't sleep at night so what I did was I went and bought this little book just over 10 years ago. The elastic used to hold on it properly. When I couldn't sleep I would open up my book and I would draw inside it lots of little drawings and sketches. Over the years my sketchbook grew and grew and grew and so did a little idea in my head, a little teeny weeny idea and I thought about how I'd like to share my ideas with the world. What better way to do this than create a secret book that I can hide for people to discover. I decided if you want a dream to come true then the best plan of action is to just get on and do it yourself. So I did and I redrew all my designs in this little book onto some paper and they look a bit like this. This, oh, and this, oh hello, and this one too. So I went to a nice little print man, twisted his arm a bit, and he printed me loads of pages for a reasonable price. And then I went home and cut out every single page and created a nice mountain of paper. And then I spent several hours spray mounting the pages and gluing them together. And then I spent a few more hours stapling together and a few more hours writing labels and ended up with a pile of beautiful books to hide. So when I had all my books ready, I got ridiculously excited. And even though I had excruciating sciatic pain, I hit London and I went to loads and loads of bookshops and hid them all over London. When people got back in contact and found the hidden books, I got really, really excited. The thought of being connected to strangers, people you've never met, it's really work. It's pretty exciting. I made more of these little books, with little tags, and then I got people to hide them where they live. So they went to New York, in Sweden, and a few other places like here, here, and here. If you are so lucky to find one of these little books, there's a message explaining that I'd like you to get in touch. Please do, and let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nah.